In this video, we're going to show you how you can configure the integration between Microsoft Sentinel and the Cyborg Audit Service. First, in the Azure Marketplace, search for Cyborg and select Cyborg Audit for Microsoft Sentinel. To deploy the integration, click Create. Select the subscription, the resource group, and the workspace where you want to deploy the integration. After the deployment is complete, we're going to navigate to Microsoft Sentinel to configure the integration. Navigate to your Sentinel workspace and open up data connectors. Here you should already see the new Cyborg Audit integration. Next, we're going to open up the connector page and click on Deploy to Azure so we can configure the integration. But before we can complete the configuration on the Azure side, we first need to configure the Cyborg Audit service. Before we can complete the configuration on the Azure side, we first need to configure the Cyborg Audit Service. So we're going to navigate to the Cyborg Audit Service and we're gonna click on Seam Integrations. Here at the right top side of the screen, we're going to navigate to Create, Create Seam Integration. Here you can see a couple steps that you need to complete in order to configure the Cyborg Audit Service. In order for the audit service to communicate with Microsoft Sentinel, we're going to create an OF2 connection. In order to do this, step one, A, B, and C are all steps that you need to complete within the identity administration portal. So for now, I'm gonna copy the variables on step one, A to my clipboard, and I'm going to specify a name for this integration. Next, Click Apply to save the configuration. Within Identity Administration, we're going to navigate to Web Apps. We're going to click Add Web Apps so we can create the OAuth 2 server. Under Custom, we can find the OAuth 2 server and click Add. Specify audit for Microsoft Sentinel as the application ID. Next, open up tokens and select client credentials. As the scope for this application, we're going to copy and paste the variables that we copied from the Cyborg Audit Service. Under variables, we're going to copy the script that was created by the Cyborg Audit Service and we copy to our clipboard.
Next, open up users and click add user. Create the user by specifying the name. You don't have to specify an email address initially. What a demo user. You can specify a manually or generated password. And select is OAuth confidential client. After, of course, I need to copy the password. After the user creation, navigate to application settings and select the OAuth web server that we've created. Here, specify the username of the newly created user. After creating the user, we can grant permissions on this application for this user. Navigate to the web application, go to permissions and add the user that we've just created. Make sure you select the grant and view permissions for this user. Now that we've completed the configuration on identity administration and CyberArk audit, we can complete the configuration in Azure. The first parameters allow you to define where you want to deploy it within Azure. For the function name, you can leverage your own naming convention, as this is a variable that we haven't defined yet. For the OAuth username and password, these are the client credentials from the user that we've just created within CyberArk identity. The web app ID is the application ID of the OAuth server that we've created within CyberArk Identity. The identity endpoint is the URL of your identity tenant. To configure the two last parameters, we navigate to the audit service. When you open up the audit service, navigate to the newly created integration. Here, you can find the API base URL as well as the API key that we will both need to complete the Azure configuration. Here, paste the API base URL as well as the API key. The query filters are optional and allow you to narrow down the events that you will receive. We are now ready to deploy the integration. Next, click review and create to deploy the integration. The integration is now almost complete. To complete the configuration, navigate to data collection rules, where we're going to provide the Azure function the permissions to publish events to the data collection. Navigate to IAM, add role assignments, and select monitoring metrics publisher. Click next manage the identity and select the Azure function that we've just created. Now we've completed the configuration. So let's verify that everything is working properly. To verify that the integration is now successfully working, we're navigating to Microsoft Sentinel. We open up the workspace and we open up logs. Here, we're going to search for CyberArk. We're going to select these CyberArk audit events. To show you that we've received some actual data from CyberArk audit, we're going to specify a simple query. Just for the demo, we're searching for the specific events by username. And as you can see, we've got a couple of results coming out of the audit service that have been added to Microsoft Sentinel. 
Congratulations, you've now successfully configured the integration between CyberArk Audit and Microsoft Sentinel.